Hello people, in this video let us look at the definition of preeclampsia. Basically, it is a hypertension with proteinuria. Uh, after 20 weeks of pregnancy, <coughs> after 20 weeks of pregnancy, they didn't write pregnancy word at all. Pregnancy. Okay, after 20 weeks of pregnancy and in a nor in a previously normotensive and non-proteinuric woman. Okay, so earlier she was ha not having hypertension or proteinuria. Now, uh, after 20 weeks of pregnancy, she is having uh, hypertension and proteinuria. So, this is called as preeclampsia. Okay. So, it is uh, unknown etiology they are saying. Anyways, this you don't have to write. Basically, you have to say the development of hypertension or uh, how much hypertension greater than 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury greater than or equal to 140 or 90 millimeter of mercury measured in two occasions, uh, six hour apart with proteinuria. Proteinuria is uh, uh, greater than... Uh, here we have seen proteinuria is here greater than or equal to 0.3 gram per 24 hours. You have to take two specimens four hour apart then it will become uh, proteinuria and she should not have any UTI or anything okay uh, which is causing the proteinuria. So you should rule out all those causes and you should make sure that before the pregnancy she was not having proteinuria or hypertension that becomes preeclampsia okay. So uh, you have already seen in this classification uh, if uh, she is having uh, hypertension with proteinuria it becomes a preeclampsia if she is having all this with seizures it becomes eclampsia <clears throat> if she has hypertension before the pregnancy now she is getting the proteinuria that becomes superimposed preeclampsia okay so these people will have um, edema okay you should remember these people will have edema pitting edema over the ankles after 12 hours of bed rest rapid weight gain okay ankle edema in the morning and rapid gain of weight rapid weight gain these all can be the clues to check for preeclampsia okay there's a little uh, extra details here guys the blood pressure greater than or equal to 140 by 90 right we said greater than or equal to 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury two occasions you will measure six hour apart uh, all that and uh, how to measure blood pressure on all you know the brachial artery uh, level should be at the heart etc and you can measure in sitting position or in uh, sleeping uh, 45 degree angle etc they are saying okay but there's one more thing uh, prior to her uh, uh, pregnancy whatever systolic she had if she has plus 30 now or to the diastolic if it is plus 15 now this also can become uh, hypertension okay or mean arterial pressure mean arterial pressure greater than 105 okay this also can become uh, hypertension so this is nothing but systolic plus 2 diastolic divided by 3 okay so this is mean arterial pressure greater than 105 also can indicate hypertension lot of small small details are there guys like mean arterial pressure uh, rise of 20 the from the pre-pregnancy value that also becomes hypertension okay 